Hello and welcome to our virtual welcome meeting for new parents for FS2 children. We'd like to welcome you to St Bernadette's Primary School. Hopefully you'll find this meeting useful. Normally we'd like to do it face to face but obviously this year we couldn't do that due to the current situation. If you do have any questions, which I'm sure you will, please give us a ring on the school office on 4304601 or send us a message on our Twitter page at St BEYFS. This is our FS2 team. I'm Mr Lambert, I'm the class teacher and also deputy head. We have Mrs Clark, who's one of our fantastic teaching assistants. And we also have the brilliant Mrs McConnell, who's one of our higher level teaching assistants. And we all can't wait to help and support your children next year. So this is what a typical day looks like for children in FS2. The school doors open at 8.45 a.m and the children are let in through their classroom door and I'll be there to meet them in the morning. The school gates close at 8.55. Um, after this time, the children will be marked in as late and have to come through the school office entrance. Then at nine o'clock, we normally start our phonics lesson, which is teaching the children how to read uh, sounds and listen to sounds. Um, and that normally lasts about 20 minutes, which it extends as the year goes on. Then the children have what we call discovery time. So discovery time is where the children are free to explore all of the areas in the classroom. We have the painting area, creative area, construction, um, small world play, role play, dressing up, uh, maths area, writing area, um, and they can play outside as well. Um, then we start for a quick toilet break and then we carry on with literacy. So we have our literacy session normally about half past 10 for 20 minutes and then the children go back into the areas again for some more discovery time. Whilst the children are in the areas the adults in the class will work with the children observing their play and intervening where necessary to move the children's learning on. After this the children have a math session daily where we look at um, recognising numbers, simple addition and subtraction, shapes and measure and then they have their dinner. So at quarter past 12, the children go up to the school hall. Uh, the children go to the hall before the rest of the school do. And normally they're supported by their year six buddies for the first term to get them settled into school life. Um, after their dinner time, they have some more discovery time in the afternoon. And then each day they have something different for the last part of the day. So it might be an RE lesson, might be doing some singing or music or learning about the world. Also, each week the children take part in hymn practice. We have a singing teacher that comes in to do that. And we also regularly go over to church for celebrations and mass as well. Then before the end of the day, we normally have a little story and then the children are collected at five to three from the door where you've dropped them off the classroom door. So, Reception comes under the Early Years Foundation stage and these are all the different areas of learning um, in the early years. Now the ones in red at the bottom are called the prime areas of learning and these are the ones that we really focus on for the first term in reception to give the children a real solid start to their time with us at St Bernadette's. So we have communication language which is teaching the children how to speak in full sentences, um, developing their listening and attention skills and learning new vocabulary. We also have physical development, which is developing their gross motor skills, which is moving, balancing, um, climbing, um, and that's developed in the outdoor area and also in our weekly PE lessons as well. And then we have personal, social and emotional development, which looks at the children making friends, building relationships with each other, and with the adults in the class, uh, developing their self-confidence and being able to manage the behaviour and feelings as well. And each week we do um, regular circle times where we meet together as a circle. We discuss issues that have come up in that week. We talk about our feelings, our emotions, um, and we do role play scenarios to think about how they could apply what they've learned to, to real life situations. Then at the top of the tree, the blue ones are 
the specific areas of learning. So we have literacy, which is learning to read and learning to write. We have our maths, which is number and shape, space and measure. We have expressive arts and design, which is role play, music, small world, character play, um, painting um, and construction and creative work. And then we have understanding the world, which is the children learn about how the world works around them. So it might be learning about people who help us in our community. It might be learning about where in the world we live in different countries. It might be learning about seasons and how the seasons change. And we also look at different festivals and religious celebrations that are celebrated around the world as well. So each half term we have a different topic and that's normally linked to a book. So for the start of the year, our topic is all about me and the children will be learning about themselves, the family that they're part of, about making friends with each other and about their body as well and keeping healthy. Then after that, we learn about autumn and changes. So we'll look at the seasonal changes, how the leaves fall off the trees in the autumn, how they change colour. We'll go on an autumn welly walk where we can experience those changes for ourselves. And then we'll also be looking as well at changes in state, so looking at uh, freezing and melting um, and scientific changes. Then in the spring term, we're going to be learning about dinosaurs and space. And in the summer term, princesses, knights and dragons and fairy tales, and then pirates and treasure. So at St Bernadette's in our early years, we have something called the magic story box. And this is the way that we teach our literacy. So all of the learning that the children experience is planned through uh, a quality story book. And each half term, um, we open up our story box, as you can see in the picture. Um, we sing a little rhyme to open up the box. And inside is a new, a new book that's wrapped up. So we have an excitement where the children open the book. We look at the front cover, think about what the story might be about. We look at the author of the story as well. And then every half term, there's always a problem with each story. So it's teaching the children that narrative structure, that every story has a problem and a solution to the problem. And the children are set challenges each week where they work towards helping characters in the story solve their problems. There's lots of drama, lots of speaking and listening and role play involved. Um, with the story box and also as well lots of opportunities for parents to get involved as well um, here's an example letter that we sent out for the last academic year for our naughty bus book that we did and it's asking parents is there anything you think your child would like to do linked to the story so it could be building their own bus out of cardboard boxes it could be um, they'd like to have a bus come to school that they'd like to um, see or talk to a bus driver it might be like they'd like to do a bus station role play area so there's lots of different um parent contributions that we ask you for throughout the year um, and each half term you receive one of these secret book share letters where we're asking parents to tell us what your children would like to do and then we can hopefully plan activities that they might enjoy linked to the book also throughout the year as well, we have what we call Parent Inspire Days, so it's where we invite parents in to open up the story box with us. And we have lots of exciting activities um, happening in the Foundation Stage unit where you can join in with them as well. We like to involve parents as much as possible throughout the year. Um, in the autumn term, we're hoping to be able to have the dental play box company visit us so the children can learn about keeping their teeth clean and help healthy. We're hoping to plan an autumn welly walk, which parents can join us on. We're hoping to plan a pancakes and phonics morning and a family and friends coffee morning. At the moment with the current coronavirus situation, um, we're not 100% if we will still be able to go ahead with these, but hopefully by then things may have moved on maybe different. Fingers crossed. So reading is really, really important from a young age with children. Um, it's really important 
and it affects their future life chances in school. We always find out that children who read well and read lots from an early age always do better um, as they move through the school and achieve better in the year six sats at the end of the primary school. We have a saying at St Bernadette's which is kids who read succeed. So children will be sent reading books home in the autumn term um, these are matched to the sounds that we teach in class um, and when they're confident with those sounds and can understand what they have read as well then we'll move them on to a new book then. Um, the children are read with daily in school by a member of staff and we have reading records which we send home so we know how the children have been doing with the reading at home or if they've been struggling and you can fill that in each night when you read with them. We ask that the children read each night for 10-15 minutes. Um, it doesn't have to be their school reading book every night. It can be a book that they enjoy, like The Gruffalo or Room on the Broom or something like that. Um, but reading is really, really important. And the more children do it, the quicker they'll move through the phonics scheme and be confident readers. We also say as well that nursery rhymes are a massive um, help with reading so if the children can confidently recite seven nursery rhymes that will really help with their reading and tuning into the sounds and listening to the rhythm of words um, and stories when they read them. We do have a breakfast club at school um, to support working parents. Breakfast club opens at eight o'clock every day. It's a pound each day for breakfast club and there's no need to book. Um, the last admittance to breakfast club is 8.30. So after 8.30, um, nobody will be let into breakfast club and they'll stop serving breakfast. Attendance is something that's really important from such a young age to make sure that the children are receiving the full input and the full um, variety of, of lessons that we're providing each week. Um, as I've said, the classroom doors open at 8.45 and close at 5 to 9, so it's really important that the children are in school on time. As, as I'm sure you've seen um, on previous slides, we start our phonics teaching at 9 o'clock, so that's the teaching of reading. Um, the phonics lessons move on at such a fast pace, the children learn a new sound every single day. So across the week, that's five sounds that they've learned if they're late for lessons or are off school, then they're going to start getting behind with their reading and writing um, and other things as well. If your child is unwell though, or well, they do have a medical appointment, then we ask that you could ring school um, before five to nine to let us know about that and also provide a letter to explain why they're off school as well. If for any reason um, your child is absent and you, do not, you don't ring before um, five to nine and you will receive a phone call from school um, just to check that everything's okay. We do work with lots of other agencies at school as well. Um, we have what we call a team around the school. Um, we have our own link social worker who's called Ross Thompson. Um, and we have a link school age plus worker called Phil Griffiths. Um, both of these people are really approachable and they're there to help genuinely. If you do think you need any support, anything at home or family life, please do come and see me or you can speak to Miss Jones, um, our head teacher, and we can arrange for Ross or Phil to either give you a call or to come into school to speak with you as well. We also have our own school nurse um, who's called Stephanie Ludlane. Stephanie um, is also available to speak to if you've got any um, medical um, issues that you want to discuss with her or if you're charged struggling with sleeping or toileting or things like that, again, come and speak to me or Miss Jones and we can um, put you in touch with Stephanie. And then we have um, two special needs coordinated in school. So that's myself. Um, I'm responsible for special educational needs for early years and key stage one children, making sure that they achieve the best that they can. And Mrs. Walsh is responsible for key stage two. 
So at St Bernadette's we pride ourselves on the way that the children look in their school uniforms. Um, school uniforms are available to order online um, on the School Trends website. There's a link at the bottom of the page there. Um, we have the Royal Blue jumpers. Um, these can be purchased with the logo on from School Trends. And then we have the gold coloured polo shirts. Um, or your child can wear a white um, buttoned up shirt if, if they wish. Um, we also ask that children wear black shoes um, with either grey trousers or a grey skirt. Um, and girls can wear the blue and white check summer dresses in the warmer weather. The children will need a PE kit as well from the start of the year and they can be purchased as well um, on the School Trends website. We do know that school uniform can be quite expensive, so we do have an early new uh, uniform stand as well at school, which is a um, pre-owned uniform that's been washed and cleaned, uh, which you can buy for quite a reasonable price. So the children go outside every day for their learning in all sorts of weather. So whether it's raining, whether it's sunny, whether it's snowing, um, windy, they're out in every single weather unless it's deemed not safe to go out in the weather. Um, so they will need a warm waterproof coat in school every day and also as well a pair of wellies that can be kept in school on the peg. We do have a mud kitchen as well outside um, so the children may get a little messy some days um, so we ask that the coat that they do wear for school is a coat that's allowed to um, occasionally get a little bit messy. We are a healthy school um, all children in reception are entitled to a free school meal um, however they can bring their own packed lunch if you don't want them to have a free meal um, please let us know if they are going to bring their own packed lunch and then we know how many meals that we need to cater for. Um, we do ask that if they are changing from school lunches to their own packed lunches or vice versa that you give us a week's notice so that the kitchen can um, plan and prepare for ordering the food. Um, all children as well have access to uh, water throughout the day and a healthy snack and some milk each day as well. So as well as the children receiving a free school meal each day whilst they're in reception, um, there is something called free school meals where um, certain families may be eligible um, to apply for this. Um, the list is here of things that you may be um, eligible for to apply for free school meals. Um, if you are eligible, then school gets uh, some additional funding which they can use to support your child um, with resources in school. So for starting in September, um, normally we'd like to do some transition stay and play days in the summer term before um, the start of the year. However, with the coronavirus situation this year, we've been unable to do so. So to make sure the children are gently phased in and um, settle well into school, um, we're running a phase induction programme. Um, you will have a, receive a letter or a phone call in the next few weeks about the stay and play dates. So there's going to be two lots of stay and plays um, to start with. The first one will be where you bring your child and stay with them um, at school and you can have a chat to the staff whilst you're in school. Um, and then the following week, the children will come in on their own for a stay and play session. Now these two stay and play sessions will be in small groups. So we're splitting the class into four different groups so that there's only a small amount of children in the class at a time. Then after that, on the 9th of September, from 9.30 till 10.30, we'll be having a whole class stay and play session. And then from the 10th and 11th of September, the children will be in school for half a day where they'll have their lunch and finish at half past one. And then the first full day of school is for the 14th of September, um, where children will have the full day from quarter to nine to five to three. So thank you for listening today. And um, we've also made a video um, to share with you and your children 
um, to show them a bit about our school. If you do have any questions, please do give us a ring or get in touch and we can't wait to meet you.